Hi, Larry K, ShadowAnyone.com. I want to teach you two pieces of terminology today that are going to help you in, in your investigations. One is the subtle difference between two terms, arrested and transported. Now, when you're working a case, you may have witnesses tell you, yeah, we saw the guy get arrested, but the reality is just because they were put in the back of a police cruiser and driven off does not mean that they were arrested. They could have just been transported, and this is very common for someone who's uh, drunk or disorderly or they just want to take away from the environment, give them a chance to cool down a little bit, but they don't want to go through the hassle of arresting them. They don't think that this person needs to be arrested. So when you're working your case, you're doing your investigation, just because the witnesses tell you that the person was arrested doesn't mean that they're going to show up with an arrest record somewhere. And if you're tugging on that thread of the case and you're coming up dry, consider that they were just transported and you should look for those records elsewhere. Now, as a trained professional, the key for you is if you see this type of thing happen, was the person handcuffed or not? Here's where it goes. 99% of the time, if they're put in the back of the cruiser and they're not handcuffed, they're being transported. If they're being put in the back of the cruiser and they are handcuffed, chances are they're being arrested. And that'll be a small clue that'll, that'll point you in the right direction. Now, another term that I want you to be familiar with is credentials. When you're dealing with law enforcement, especially a uh, plainclothes detective, undercover cop, uh, and you're talking to them, it's perfectly acceptable to say, can I see your ID or do you have any ID? But if you use the term credentials, it conveys to them instantly that you're playing on a different level and you're not just the average guy off the street. So you might say to them instead, may I see your credentials? And this just transmits a message very subtly and politely and completely appropriately to them that you know something that most people don't know. It just puts you in a different class. Also, by the way, if you're dealing with law enforcement uniformed, plain clothes, whatever, it's also completely appropriate to ask, do you have a business card? Many officers and the detectives do carry business cards, and getting one of those cards will help you later on when you're trying to remember the guy's name or how do you spell her name. You'll have that information right in front of you. You'll know what jurisdiction they work for. It's a very convenient thing to have. So there's two pieces of terminology and a little bonus tip there for you. Larry K. ShadowAnyone.com. Remember, do the right thing, even if it's the hard thing.